What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So to round off where we left off, we are being besieged by a pretty depleted army. Um, but we are also very depleted ourselves. So this is going to be a bit of an interesting one. Um, but let's fight it because why the heck not? One thing to note is they have no artillery. They do have cavalry. They've got some infantry, but most of it's pretty depleted. So I did talk about blowing a hole in the wall, but it's not necessarily... Hmm. A, it would be useful because I've got things like pikemen that would be great at fighting in the breach. I doubt there is one. Oh, there already is one. Perfect, actually, then. So... We can do something crazy like this. Even put these behind bunkers, because why not? We know where the breach is and it's not going to move. Let's put a, our mortars out front, as is tradition. Let's do something with some of our weaker units like this. To maximise their benefit. You can't anything at all anyway. Something like this to prevent their cavalry from doing anything useful. Maybe even putting some men inside the tower will be good. But we need to pretty much make our grenadiers Militia. Want my grenadiers to be fairly to have a fairly solid position because they do have fire by rank. Let's get our rangers inside here. So you've been deployed. These guys haven't been deployed. Okay, I, need, I do need some guys to garrison the walls. So who've I actually got? It's a big unit of pikes. Do something like that. You guys halt fire. Got another gun team, but they can just stay as a gun team. So if they, if they aggressively attack the wall, we'll be in a bit of a pickle. General, Mr. Theodore himself, stay inside. Cavalry, stay outside. Said I'm happy to let them act as a uh, act as a brave, brave um, sacrifice. Actually, I might even just get my cavalry inside just to make sure they aren't tempted to run around. Let's so speed up time a little bit. Oh, actually, the general may have bungled. One of them is because they're marching within range of my men. Their desire to kill my howitzer team. Is that, I see, the question is that, is that actually a general? That's always the question. But as we all know, mortars are pretty pants. They're still garrisoning, they're still firing. Take position on the walls and gun down that general. Oh, yeah, they're going to chase them down as well. So there is a general in there, but I don't know if it's actually a general. It's not the commander of their armies. Guys, start unloading cars to shot anyway. Let's 
a bit discomforting. They are pushing this uh, one particular flank, but I suspect they'll all suddenly go, wait a minute, and then come back. So like these guys are. Mounted Tribal Auxiliary. Well, the question is, if you stay there long enough, you're going to get uh, shot at by... Well, A, those guys, and B, um, a bunch of canister-armed... A bunch of canister-armed uh, artillerymen. Well, they're coming in. I've had enough. Fucking musketeers are coming in. I do have some reinforcements coming in, but they're all they're all very, very weak units. In fact, the morale's so poor, most of these units are actually failing to make it to the breach in time at all. Volley from the units and the rangers in the wall and the line infantry and the armour itself. See, they may end up taking the taking the building. That's okay. Ooh, General's bodyguard charging. Yes, that's what we would like to see. Reload those guns, lads. The infantry storming in behind them. Great, and someone's fired a good load of cans to shot into the Good kills. More colonial militia storming into the armory. But that's okay. This is the actual general's unit. They're more than welcome. Storm the armory. Just had enough. The African musketeers are sticking around and they're actually doing quite well. But let's see how long they hold out. So they are upset. They're shaken, wavering, struggling to make progress at the top of the armory. They've killed the enemy general. Or one of them, anyway. The reinforcing chap. Yeah, the militia have broken. Let's speed up time, because right now things are very peculiar. Okay, let's turn fire will off here, then back on, because I want them to man the cannons. Really. It looks like they might try and feed odd, random odd units into me. The artillery at the front of the fort is making good work out of this Hessian line. It's a colonial militia unit. They're, oh, it looked like they were going to walk past. Yeah, they're only playing at higher speeds because 
think this is going to be fairly predictable, and I wouldn't be surprised if now the AI stops doing anything at all. Mainly because no one's attacking, they're just running around out here, and that's fine. Um, because they're retreating, scattered units are coming in, but I doubt they're going to make a concerted attack. So what I might do is cut the recording and bring you guys back if they decide to do anything interesting. So, see you in a second, everyone. Mm, this is it. They actually started moving all of their men across. Even some guys to maybe trying to take the wall. Which is a bit different, because they don't normally do that. may even bring my pikes up to the gate entrance and pull my cavalry out. Because pretty much if there's going to be melee combat, my pikes want in. of the unit, some of them are trying to force their way in. So, yeah, it's weird at the last minute they've actually decided to try and actually... Uh... So you can't trust the decision making process, you have to get your entire unit out. So it says I've lost a gay house. This one, but that's okay. That's where my pikes are. Colonial Militia. I love to attack the Colonial Militia. Bring them on. That's what my pikes say. Especially you, General's Bodyguard. So this unit, how many of you actually left? 258. That's enough to kill. Okay, good. So you guys run and take back the gatehouse. Is that it's nearly everyone? Let's run my pikemen out there, just in case someone wants to carry on the fight. Say how much? How much did the pirate pay for his corn? A buccaneer. Hey. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. Cool. Some of our men are bugged inside the wall, which is great. Come in and attack me, that's great. Eh, just charge him. We don't want to turn these guys back on to fire at will. We don't want to. Oh, God. I like cavalry, but to charge these buccaneers and do something. I forgot I sent these guys out. Some of my men to go intercept the general's bodyguard. GG. 
see if we can actually intercept him. Yeah, we have managed to intercept him. Unsurprisingly, does not want to do battle. But you do. Look at all those spikes. We've killed the general. Yep, and they're done for. It's a pretty nice series of events. So we've knocked them back, and we've knocked them back. Ooh! <laughs> GG. I don't know why the rest of them aren't responding, but we're going to fight it, because it said the balance of power was 50-50. I don't want to take the chance that the AI will decide to screw me over. Another bit of tea. Okay. Computer stutter. Artillery just stay behind. Cavalry stay behind. Everyone just be ready. Mainly because I have no need to uh, expend pretty much any effort. It's one unit of colonial militia. I mean, I could limber my guns. Just to see. No hits. No hits for my inexperienced gunners. Someone got some hits. To be honest, this entire army is unbloodied. Through the slaughter of the British on their colonial holdout, will we make these men elite? Elite units of the Royal Louisiana Army. Okay, we've just, just done enough to friendly fire a grenadier. No, you're not just going to run away from us. Come on, boy. Ah, sound mods, right? Eh? There we go. Do I want to end the battle? Yes. This is what happens when you waste my time. Slaughter them. <laughs> That's what's going to happen here. Our cavalry are just going to run riot and kill every single unit of militia in this entire place. Bam, bam, thank you, man. <laughs> Good job they sallied, or else I think they'd be killed. <laughs> Lost 15 men in that exchange. All hands on deck. I was pretty sure this is the garrison. Um, but yes. At least this is, at least they're actually bringing us into the actual fight. So let's see. Okay, dislike rain. Mainly because rain just stops you from actually being able to see things. I get the whole point of it's like a high or your guns may not fire 
It's reduced firepower. Blah, blah, blah. Not yet, but... Oh, even, though, even though this isn't a good position to put artillery, I'll take it. Just because it's like, oh, yeah, I know it has an impact on the game, and you're like, oh, it's going to rain. But it also makes the experience sucky for both players and observers. So I'm going to speed up time, because this is ugly as seen. So artillery is currently firing at will and just banging away at whatever targets it sees fit. These guys could probably do being stretched out a little bit more. Let's put the cavalry out on the wing. So these are two separate reinforcing armies coming in. Not that I think either of them is going to be of much use. In actually changing the course of the battle, but I'm going to speed up time A to. Well, mainly to improve or increase the rate at which reinforcements are entering the field. Because right now, you can't really do much analysis on the field. Especially as they attacked me, so I'm more than happy to let them um, come at us. You will probably be better served targeting units more directly ahead of you. General's bodyguard tried to manoeuvre into a better position, but it ran he ran right into our lines. He's going to charge us, but that's okay. Yep. There goes the general. He's a bit funky, but I'm getting these weird performance drops. Um. Let's get our cavalry over here. So it looks like the Buccaneers might attempt to melee charge me. Frontal assault hasn't worked. We might even pivot you guys to more like that. Let's bring our cavalry up in here. Oh no, they can't. They can't get down there. Yes, they can. Go around the back. It's very Gandalf and Ride of the Rohirrimi, sort of. <laughs> coming back. It's also funny that I'm getting like, getting lots of sound bugs in the rain. So enemy reinforcements are marching up. This is the garrison coming in, this big stack. Charge my cavalry in, because why the heck not? Oh, 
Once he goes up as a line to face the colonial militia. Unlimber our guns and let's start to provide a bit more support to the flank. To the right flank, just a bit, because I think the units we've got there are probably more than enough to hold the line. Hey, we've even gotten out of the way. Look to my coming. A first light of the fifth, fifth day. At dawn. Look to the... Well, this is the... Hey, this is the east. I suppose. March their way up through the town to provide pressure everywhere. guns let's bring back the cavalry I mean it's really weird I'm not getting any sound at all okay let's try alt tabbing so I'm gonna pause just a sec guys I'm gonna try alt tabbing let's see if Blasting the main force with canister shot. Because wherever they do push up, if they don't if they don't charge within musket range, we can just keep shredding them with canister shot. And it means that they won't realistically have a chance to form up anywhere in any great strength. Some more reinforcements coming in from the back of the map. Hey! Let's come back! Okay. So the hammer and anvil over here is. It's not even a hammer and anvil, it's just an anvil that's biting back. Let's pull the cavalry back out of range. this flank up I think we are you guys get into position quickly Bring in the Gandalf tactics again. Keep pulling them away with canister shot. You guys can probably push up as well. Same with you guys.
format. Got a battle line. Let's help take on reinforcements. Just you guys still are routing, which is good. Good. Let's let these guys just carry on running down the routing British troops because we do have a new front line. Push up through the town. Pouring fire into the musketeers. Not as much they can do about it. But they're about to be smashed into by our cavalry. So let's hot fire. Hot fire and push up. I think is the order of the day here. So these men to intercept. Militia. Charge around to the rear of their formation. recovery on or push them back on into the 46th probably They're about to receive a volley so charge in the rest of our line fire at will oh dear I'm utterly surrounded now These men, when they get into position and fire, they are going to tear the 35th Regiment of Militia a new one. I'm doing some good against the militia. Come on, make them out. To be that gunfire, or overly factoring in. Keep slaughtering the men. Come on, oh yeah, I don't know, get to check out the Royal Escossé. See, they look very different to their thumbnail, the unit card. But they look pretty good. Of course, these are foot guards as well. Which means they don't take any messing around. Shot in the flank of the 28. Cavalry is getting hacked to pieces in this fight, but that's okay. Should really pull them out, but I, I at least like the fact they're fixing this unit of militia. Like fi fixing it into one position. Yeah, they're going to break out through my lines. There goes the colonial militia. I think it's probably a matter of time now before the entire formation dissolves and breaks and runs. Which will be glorious. Yeah, there they go. There they go. 
31st and the 13th are going to break any minute now. Because they're under fire four from the front and from the rear. They're not just any ragtag units. That would be bad enough. It's from the 3rd Grenadier Regiment, who just look beautiful. Now, everyone's going to be engaging the 13th. 31st, sorry. Yep, they just lost a whole bunch of men. They have been slaughtered. I think that's the end. I think that's all of them. I mean, obviously there's a... There's a unit that... Did, they, did you recover? Yeah, you came back. These men will mow them down. There's some buccaneers over here as well. Not just any buccaneers, that's, their, that's a unit. That's a general unit. Charge them down. My dislike. I dislike the silence because it just means. Well, the fact that we've not had a warning yet. Good. <laughs> so I was going to say, that sounds like there's a hidden unit somewhere. I really cannot be bothered to find it. Let's just attack and destroy the last men are behind us. The last 115. Oh, they've gone. So the last combat is my general. Okay, you can get in. You, you're already in. I'm making sure these guys have ran past any infantry units so I don't suffer any stupid casualties. And the rain has stopped. And the men have been slaughtered. So that's the garrison of the Bahamas. Dismantled. Nice going, Britain. I've got to... no I think I'm gonna fight it if I get all these men I'm gonna fight it <laughs> I mean my main the, the garrison of Maine is gonna be in very poor shape but you know I've got, I get the Boston garrison which will be in a very good shape Especially with fire by rank, with some good artillery. Yeah, you guys are done for. Oh no! The resources, the reinforcements haven't appeared. <laughs> yeah, the reinforcements didn't show up. <laughs> Beautiful. To try and do as much damage as you can <laughs> before your inevitable defeat. This only worked if I got the. Uh... I mean, damn, they're holding on. Well, they were. They're wavering now. This only worked with the uh, the garrison. There was no way this was going to work <laughs> otherwise. I mean, yes, I'll defend against the garrison here. But looking at the timer, I think that's time to end the part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the defence of Boston. Cheers, everyone.